okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have handled our uh, shipping page if i go to the card and click on continue you can see that we have managed this page in our previous video so now in this video we will integrate this stripe in our application okay so if you don't know stripe is a payment gateway that we can use to accept the payments from the users okay so this is an e-commerce uh, application so we have to integrate a payment gateway so i will use stripe okay so first of all you have to create your account on stripe you simply have to go to dashboard.stripe.com and then you will get your uh, test api keys so you will have your publishable key okay and then your secret key here so you can get that from here all right and you have to put that both in your uh, your config file all right so first of all let's go to our uh, vs code and write the code to integrate the stripe in our application so i go to the vs code First of all, let's handle the backend part. So I go to the uh, backend in the controllers. Um, let's handle it in the orders controller. Okay, so you can also create the payment controller, but I will handle that in my order controllers. Order controllers.js. So first of all, export cons that is going to be checkout session. Okay, so we have to create a checkout session, and then in our next video, we will uh, create the order after accepting the payment. Okay. In this video we will only handle the uh, checkout session that is going to be async and in that we have access to the request and the, the response okay so first of all uh, in that we will get our body so body is going to be request dot body of course and now from the front end we will pass the uh, cart items and also the shipping details if i go back um we will pass uh, these items that user want to purchase and then the shipping information which is the address of the user okay so we will have both in our body so now first of all we have to create here the stripe checkout session and for that we have to install this stripe package so i will simply install here npm i stripe dash dash save so it will install the stripe package let me show you the so you can see that this is the npm page for the stripe node.js library okay so we have to simply install the stripe and then we have to add the uh, stripe private key uh, after importing that like this okay and then we can use this stripe to create our sessions and we can perform the other actions as well okay so let's um, use that we can also use in this way so i will copy this from here copy that i will go back and i put that here okay so we will have our stripe here that we will import from stripe then stripe is equal to new stripe and then in that we have to pass in here the uh, stripe private key okay so i will simply go to my next.config.js and then here uh, in the env i will simply have to set here first of all the stripe underscore public key okay and then we also have to set in here the stripe private key okay so stripe private key so the public key is going to be this uh, this publishable key okay I simply copy that from here and I put that here and for the private key we have to copy this from here okay I will copy that and I put that here so simply put your API key here save it and then close this file so I will paste my key here okay so I have successfully added my API keys in my next.config.js now let's uh, add that here so I will use here process dot env dot uh, stripe underscore private underscore key and simply save it from here now we have our stripe here now we can use that to create our session okay so I will simply type here const session is going to be await stripe dot checkout dot sessions dot create okay now in the create we have to pass some options okay so first of all what is the payment uh, method types okay so i will use here the card okay we want to accept the payments with the card and then we have to pass in here the success url okay and then we have to pass in here the cancel url okay so if our payment is successful uh the stri stripe will move us to that basically url and if uh, the payment is unsuccessful then it will move us to this cancel url 
okay so i will simply type here http uh, you can put that in the um, env file as well so i will hard code that here that is going to be slash me slash orders okay then i add here order underscore success is going to be true okay and i will move that uh, also put that here you can also add a cancel uh, page you can create your page also and you can provide that link here but i will keep it simple and hard code these values okay on this payment success i will simply add this variable in the query that order success is equal to true because we have to also clear the card replacing the order okay so we will add that in the params in the query okay and actually we have our api url in the um env file that is going to be process dot env dot api underscore url okay if i can show you here you can see that here we have this api url we can use that all right so now we have here the success url and cancer url we also have to add in here the customer email okay so customer email i will use here request dot user dot email okay uh, because this is a protected route, so we have access to the user here so we will uh, save the customer email and then i also add here the client reference id okay so the client reference id is going to be request dot user dot underscore id okay so we'll add the client reference id here and then we have to add here the uh, mode so mode is going to be payment okay and then let's also add here uh, metadata okay metadata is just like the optional data that we want to pass so in the metadata i will set the shipping info so we can get the shipping info from the body so shipping info is going to be um, body dot shipping info okay so we will pass this shipping info in the metadata again we can pass any additional data uh, in the metadata in the stripe checkout session okay so now we have passed the shipping address in the metadata and now let's add here some shipping options okay so in the shipping options we have to first of all pass in here the shipping rates okay so shipping rate that is going to be now we have to pass in here the uh, shipping rate id and to create that i will simply go to my stripe dashboard then i go in the products and then i can go in the shipping rates and you can see that here uh, i have here my shipping uh, rate uh, instance you can create one here so simply click on create shipping rate and here you can provide your shipping um, amount if you want to charge the user for the shipping and if you want to make the shipping uh, free then you can simply keep it zero and definitely you can add more options here if you want all right you can simply click on save but i already have one uh, which is uh, free you can see that here 0, 0.00 so i will use this id here okay so we have to use this shipping id so i copy that and i will go back and i put that here so this is our shipping rate in this way you can add the shipping rates and you can charge the shipping uh, to your customers uh, after shipping options we have to also set in here the line items so line items is the items that user is purchasing in this case our order items uh, if i go back these are the line items these tools so we also have to set that and the details of these items okay so i simply go back and what i will do is i will prepare my shipping items here so const shipping items or you can say that line items is going to be body dot items and we will pass the items in the request dot body from the front end okay then i will map through on each item and i will simply return from here uh, the object that contains the price underscore data okay now in the price data object we have to pass some options for each line item first of all what is the currency that i want to use okay so the currency is going to be usd okay and then we have to pass it here the product data so product data that is going to be first of all the name of the product that is going to be item dot name and then we have here the images okay for the images i will use here item dot image remember that in the images we have to pass the array uh, we will only pass one image so we will use that image here okay 
and then we have to pass in here the metadata again metadata is additional data that we can pass and so in this case we will set the product id uh, which is going to be item dot product remember that item dot product is the id of that product so we will save the product id in the metadata so this is the product data and then we have to set in here the uh, unit price okay so what is the price so unit amount that is going to be item dot price okay and we will multiply it by 100 because we have to pass the uh, a unit amount in the cents so we will multiply our dollars with uh, which is item dot price with the 100 and then we will set the uh, unit amount okay and then we have to pass in here the quantity so what is the quantity that user is purchasing so quantity is going to be item dot quantity okay now we also can pass one more option here that is called tax rates if you want to charge the tax from the user okay so how we can calculate that again I simply go to my stripe da uh, dashboard and I can simply go here uh, in the products in the tax rates uh, you have already one here which is the sales tax I don't know much about taxes you can definitely read more about that okay so if you want to create a new one you can simply click here new and then you have to select the uh, tax type VAT, GST or sales tax for example I choose here sales tax then you can select your region here okay and then the percentage that you want to charge for example 15 percent okay then simply click on add rate tax so in my case that is sales tax which is the 15 percent okay if I click on that you can see that here I have chose here the sales tax 15 percent exclusive and then the for the region I have chose here United States and that is it you can simply copy this ID from here which is the text ID so I simply go back and I add that here so now it will add 15% tax to each product uh, each item and add that to our uh, final amount okay so it will automatically handle our taxes all right so I will restart my server okay so now after that I will simply res dot status which is going to be 200 dot JSON in that I will simply set here the URL you can also pass the entire session object but we don't need that on the product we only need the URL so that is going to be session dot URL okay so we just have to go to that URL and it will uh, display the stripe checkout uh, page to us simply save it from here and now we have to create the route for that okay so I simply go to my uh, in the pages in the API I create a new folder here with the name orders and in that I create my new file that is called checkout underscore session dot js okay and then um, I will simply copy this from here um, add that here okay so that is going to be dot use and we have to use here the is authenticated user because this is a protected route so is authenticated users and this is going to be a post request and then I will use here checkout session from the order controllers and I will remove that from here okay so I think so that is it simply save it from here now this is our route and we have to send the request from the front end so I will close this one this one uh, then I go to my components and the cart in the shipping so we can simply move to this uh, uh, stripe checkout page okay actually we don't need here this else because we are returning that if we have don't have any shipping details okay so now if the shipping info is there then we have to simply move to the stripe checkout page so i will simply type here first of all try catch block so if there is any error i will simply log that um, error dot response okay and on that we will simply send the request so cons data that we will get back going to be await then axios dot post and now uh, in that we have to first of all pass in here the process dot env dot uh, api underscore url okay then slash api then slash orders then slash checkout underscore session so this is our post request and then in the body we have to pass in here first of all the items okay so items are going to be cart dot cart items remember that we have here the cart and we can pass simply cart items in the items and then we also have to pass in here the shipping info 
that we will uh, that we have set here so we will pass that shipping info here all right so i will simply save it from here and now uh, i will simply log here the data okay just to show you before we move to that url simply save it and now if i go back to my chrome so now if i go to the inspect from here first of all go to console okay and now if i simply select this address from here click on checkout so we have here some issue that uh, shorthand property are valid only in the instruction patterns so we have here uh, the unit amount okay so if i go to the back end then the controllers all our controllers that is going to be colon save it and now if i go back if i select this address click on checkout so you can see that here we get this error so if i go to the config you can see that uh data uh, error that um row you didn't provide it an api key okay so i will simply go back and that is stripe let's also restart my server once okay and now if i go back and go to the inspect now let's test it out i go to the console clear it and now if i also reload the page once select the address so check out so now you can see that here we get the stripe checkout url in the response so we have to now just move to that url okay so now uh, if, I if i want to show you one thing here if i simply type here um like router dot push to this data dot url okay and if i add here router so cons router is going to be use router okay if i use that simply save it if i click here click on checkout it will not move us to that page okay if we go to the console we can see that here we get this course error okay and to avoid that we can simply uh use here uh, the window dot location dot href that is going to be data dot url okay so it will simply forcefully move out move us to that url simply save it that is windows so window dot location dot href simply save it and now if i click on this click on checkout okay so now you can see that we are moved to the stripe checkout page so here you can see that first of all we have here buy it now so we have this total amount so we have this mic you can see that we also have here image so this is the amount uh, 349 each quantity 2 and we have here second product and then you can see that the shipping is free I remember that we have set that free here okay uh, this is absolutely free and then for the tax we have set the 15 percent sales tax so that is 108.6 so total is this one and, then, and this is the amount that user has to pay and now this is the email that we have set uh, in our uh, session you can see that here also that uh, the total amount that we have in our shipping page is 832.58 and that is exactly same in the stripe checkout page so now we have successfully created our stripe checkout session now we are also moving the user to that uh, page now we just have to uh, get the payment from the user and then we have to create the order for that user and i will handle that in my next video so that's it for this video if you have any question you can post that in the comment section i will definitely reply there and also you can get the source code as video in the description of this video okay so that's it for this video i will see you in the next lecture